This is an ECG recorded from a patient complaining of shortness of breath following a sustained episode of cardiac sounding chest pain. Pause this recording now and interpret the ECG on your own before pressing play again to hear me interpret the ECG. The rate is 66 beats per minute and the rhythm is irregular and chaotic with absent P waves. This is atrial fibrillation. The axis is normal with an upwards complex in lead 1 and lead 2. It's impossible to comment on P waves or PR intervals due to their absence, but the QRS duration is normal at less than 3 small squares. The chest lead morphology of the QRS complex is abnormal, however, with late dominance of the R wave. The R wave only becomes greater than the S wave at V6. R wave dominance is usually seen in either V3 or V4. There is ST segment elevation present in lead V3, V4, V5 and V6, and also probably in leads 3 and AVF, although the irregular baseline makes it difficult to see. There are no significant T-wave changes. In summary, this ECG recorded from a patient who has had an episode of cardiac sounding chest pain reveals ST segment elevation in the inferior and anterolateral leads, and abnormal R-wave progression in atrial fibrillation. It's very likely that the patient has completed an ST segment elevation myocardial infarction. Usually a completed STEMI is associated with pathological Q waves, and the anterior poor R wave progression does not quite meet electrical criteria for pathological Q waves. There's a small upwards deflection in front of these deep S waves. They almost certainly represent a full thickness anterior infarct all the same. The irregular baseline in lead V1 is chaotic and represents fibrillation waves and shouldn't be confused with the much more regular pattern seen in atrial flutter in some cases. Of ancillary note, it's possible that two sinus beats have been recorded at the end of this ECG and the patient may therefore be in paroxysmal atrial fibrillation. This is of little relevance and one should also be cautioned against looking for sinus beats on an ECG that's clearly in atrial fibrillation. You can easily see things that aren't indeed there.